So in the problem, we are given a rod that is hung by two strings. The string is twisted by an angle alpha. We need to find what is the oscillation period and what is the rod's oscillation energy. So let's find the rod's oscillation energy first, and then we will bother about period. So energy of the oscillation is can be written in two forms. So either change in potential energy, where this change is between extreme and equilibrium, or energy of the oscillation can be written as kinetic energy of the body at equilibrium. So let's do it with this way first because calculations are always simpler when we are just taking the change in potential energy. So this is the 3D diagram of the rod when you are looking from the front. So this rod is this thread is turned by an angle alpha and let's say the middle of the rod gets turned by an angle theta naught dash. So this is the maximum angle the rod will turn and if you see from the side, so if the side view, if you see from this right side, you will see that the initially the rod will look like this. And when it is twisted, it will go to a little bit above the bottom point and the rod will look like this. So it's a 3D figure. And let's say the center of mass of the body goes up by n height h. So these two are before twist. And these two are the positions of the rod after the twist. So now let's write energy of oscillation, which is change in potential energy. So if we take this as zero, the potential energy at extreme is mgh. And what is this height h? So you can see that is L minus L cos alpha. So this becomes MgL1 minus cos alpha. 1 minus cos alpha can be written as 2 sine square alpha by 2. And sine square alpha by 2 can be approximated to alpha square by 4. So this gives MgL alpha square by 2. So this is the energy of oscillation, answer of second part. Now for the first part, let's write it in the form of energy of oscillation is equal to kinetic energy at equilibrium. So we already found energy of oscillation. So let's use that is equal to half I omega dash max square. So if the angle turned by the rod is theta, then let's say it's the rod's angular velocity will be omega dash and its maximum angular velocity at equilibrium will be omega dash max, which is equal to omega into theta naught dash. So this is the angular equivalent of linear SHM. Where so similar to there we had in the linear SHM, we have Vmax is equal to omega A, where A is the amplitude. Here also theta naught dash is the amplitude of the angle. And instead of Vmax, we have omega dash max. And omega is of course angular velocity of the SHM, not the rod. I for the rod about its axis is ML square by 12. So we have assumed the rod length to be 2y. So I will be m into 2 y whole square by 12. Now we have found omega dash max in terms of theta naught dash, but here we have a term of alpha. So let's relate theta naught dash and alpha. <coughs> so you can see if this distance is x, so this distance x can be written as y into theta naught dash. And it can also be written as L into alpha. So alpha L is equal to y theta naught dash. So we'll replace alpha from here. So let's put all these three values here and you will see most of the things will get cancelled and you will get omega is equal to root 3g by L. So this is the omega of SHM. All right.